So welcome everybody. Welcome to Energy Play Shop number nine. And today is June the 30th, 2022. So as with um, other times, I'm gonna just um, walk over the agenda for today. So we're gonna do a uh, check-in just to see if anybody has any questions and we'll do a short presence meditation. Then the, the topic for this evening is really more advanced healing techniques. So there are uh, a few that I want to mention. So one of them being quantum field healing and the, one, the other one is I am healing. And depending on time, I may go over others as well, but these two for sure. Okay, so I am going to stop the sharing and um, so open the, the floor for anybody to ask questions or any comments about um, the energy play shop so far. Let actually let me just do it. Um, hang on, I'm sorry. Uh, yes. Okay. Here we go. So, any questions? No, not from me. Thank no? you. Okay. Okay. So I'm assuming no questions. So then let's, uh, in that case, let's just go to the presence meditation then. So just take a deep breath in. And let it all go. And take another deep breath in. Allow your lungs to fully inflate until you can breathe in no more. And then slowly let go of your breath. And then breathe in one more time, slowly breathe in, inflate your lungs fully. And then let go slowly, but fully. And continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing. And allow yourself to just take your time breathing in and breathing out as well. And when you feel your body starting to become more relaxed, then simply choose to call back all of your attention. Call back all parts of yourself. Bring back all of your attention. Whatever you have been giving your attention to during the day, let it all go and call back all of your attention to yourself, to your own body, to this moment. And just be here with yourself with no other thoughts, but just be here with yourself. Call back all parts of your attention. Think of nothing else except here and now. And when you have done that, then open your eyes and come back, come all the way back.
and welcome back. So the first thing I want to first um, advance topic that I want to go over is something that is called the quantum field healing. So before I, I talk about quantum field healing and what it is, I actually want to um, just set the the set the, the the stage for it. So we just think of your body. There is like it, I'm I'm right here in my own room. So in the room, it's like there's a lot of space around me, and then I have this body. And within my body, I have different um, different organs. I have a heart, I have a set of lungs, I have stomach, I have all different organs within my body. And each of those organs is made up by if you if you really you know take a look into each of the of the organs, they are made up of different cells. And if you just take one of the cells and you just zoom in and you would see that each cell is actually made up by um, different elements within that cells. And some of the elements could be um, like the DNA, it's there. And if you look into, let's say the DNA, you look in the DNA, DNA is made up of genes and each gene is made up of molecules and each molecule is made up of a whole bunch of atoms. And if you look at what's inside an atom, just one atom, you see that there at, an atom is, is made up of a nucleus consisting of protons and neutrons. And then there's the electrons that, that um, run around the, the nucleus. And that's the anatomy of a, an atom. And the atom is really the building block of um, the human body. It's the building block of a lot of different bodies, but human body. So, so what is in an atom though? So I've mentioned this in the nucleus and then there's the electrons, but what is between the nucleus and the electrons? It's really, scientists has, has looked at it. It's actually the, the electrons is, is um, spinning around the, the nucleus within a field of energy. And the quantum field healing is really about accessing that field that the electrons is running around the, the, the nucleus. So it's really, um, what is the, the analogy of a, uh, I remember the analogy between like in, in terms of size is if the, the nucleus is a, a peanut, then the electrons and the field is actually the size of the football field. So it's, and all that is one atom. And one atom is so small that we can only see it in a very powerful uh, magnifying glass, which means that with a naked human eye, we, we can't even see a, an atom. And that's how small it is. So, the, the benefit of working with the, the quantum field healing is that when we are trying to heal an organ, an organ is so much bigger relatively than an atom. And we are not even accessing the atom. We are actually accessing the, the field, meaning the space which the, the whole atom is um, existing in. So when we are looking at such a quantum level, such as a, a, a tiny level, then it is actually just, we don't need a lot of energy in order to shift and change 
or, or make changes to that atom. We, it's really our, the slightest consciousness, the slightest will would be able to start to make a shift with that. And that truly is the, the theory behind the quantum field healing is that when we are trying to work on such a minute um, level, it does not take a lot of effort. It does not take a lot of um, energy to do it. But in order to access that, we have to really use our mind. So um, there are many different ways of accessing that field of energy that is the quantum that is at that level, at the atomic level where we can shift it simply just by our consciousness, by thinking or making an intention. So um, the way that I've been taught is you think of an area that you, it's, is, so let's say a shoulder or maybe, you know, a heart or any organ that you, you want. And I actually do want to show a script. There is a script somewhere. Um, where is that? Okay, so. So this is it. So pick an area, an area um, or that you want to, to be fixed. Okay, so let's say it's, um, it's my right shoulder, for example, and go to that area and just notice, just notice that area first. And then note the color. Let's say if you, is this a shoulder, then I can actually see my shoulder in the mirror and see if I notice a color and I notice what it feels like and I can touch the, where it is that hurts and have a sense of what it is. And then you, I would just go with my intention, just imagine that I can actually magnify this area of my body. Um, it's just like imagine you, you know, when you try to um, like in, in, your, in your cell phone, if you want to zoom in on something, you simply have to increase the, um, go to there and magnify that. So imagine that you can actually magnify that part of your body until you can actually go and see the cell, uh, that part of your body at a cellular level and just pick one cell that is right in the middle of the area that you want to fix. And then you go deeper into that cell and you see the DNA. And then you see the gene. You go deeper and you see the atom and you go there and see the photon, meaning the particles, the, the atoms and all that. And because the electrons and the atom is it's really light because that's who, that's what our body is. So when you go so deep into the quantum field, that's how you access the quantum field and just notice what you notice without any, um, without putting any image on it. Just imagine what it is in this light. And then go into the light and light is really wave, wave of energy as well. 
So see the energy waves and check whether they are coherent or incoherent. And if they are incoherent, then call for coherence. And I start to notice that if you simply have to put that intention of coherence, it starts to you start to interact with the quantum field itself. And when you interact with the quantum field itself, it has an intelligence that is going to start to transform how you feel. So that really is the one way of getting to that level. So let's back out. So that's one way of getting into the quantum field. And then it's more specific. It's, it's more specific way of getting into the quantum field. And <clears throat> so in practice, I actually, um, so what I've done is I, I, I do this. I, I actually found mm -hmm. for myself a different way to access that, that field as well. And I'm going to just mention it because um, it may be easier because I'm more of a kinesthetic person. So it may be the, so the method that I use maybe help you as well. So I would pick, let's say another area, um, let's say um, left eye, for example, just, just left eye. So I would imagine my left eye, and I don't know what exactly is the issue with my left eye, and I don't need to know. But um, so I just have to put intention on my left eye. And then I start to have, I start to imagine that I can zoom in. So, you know, when you when you want to zoom in on phone or a tablet, you do this, you, you kind of just you do this, so I would just have this intention of just zooming out my left eye. And then zoom in more. And then zoom in even more. So in my imagination, that's what I'm doing. I'm zooming in and zooming in. Until I feel a shift in how I feel in my left eye. At some point, you start to feel a shift. So that's my experience and, and um, So those are the kind of the two ways. So you can actually imagine you go into the area, the cell, the, the DNA, into the atom, or you simply just zoom in, simply just zoom in, use that. So those, um, those are the two ways. Um, which way works better for you? You have to test it out yourself, okay? Zoom so, in easier. What? what? I think your way is easier. Just make it bigger and bigger. It's easier to imagine. Thank you. It's easier. Um, however, you have to calibrate for yourself. Because when I zoom in, I, I do feel a difference in how I feel. Because I think before I start, my, I can feel. Um, something in my left eye. That's why I picked it. But when I start to zoom in, my, my left eye just quiet down. It, like, 
I feel a difference. So that's what I mean by um, yes, both ways are simply a method. So you have to test which one works better for yourself. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so that is really the quantum field. The, the, the quantum field, it's a couple of more, more things I want to talk about the, um, the quantum field. Uh, one is that it's really about coherent coherence and incoherence. So our body or just anything that is chaos will start to um, spin out of control. Whereas when it's coherent, the life energy will start to um, spin the right way. So it's really life force energy when it is coherent our body will start to to function in health whereas if we have many like if if the the, the quantum field itself is has a lot of conflicts it's all going different direction that's when chaos starts to get in that's when life force energy is wasted and that's that's really how we, um, inside a body, energetically speaking, that's how we start to um, become less healthy. So that's why with something as simple as just coherence, just intending get to the, the quantum field, which really lets you, it's, it's like the quantum field is at such a, tiny minute level that just by your intention alone it's like you place a you just drop a a piece a very small piece of stone in um in a pond the ripples will start to go out even though you just zoom in on one atom you just zoom in on one atom and you place that intention of coherence because it's at such a minute level that that ripple effect starts to condition the whole quantum field, which is where like, all of the, the atoms that is within your organ or within the place that you want to transform into uh, healing and, and, and transform into more health for yourself. That's how that works. One thing. And the other thing is, is what I mentioned is that you have to calibrate. So a lot of it is about, um, oh, sorry. <laughs> Tatiana, question, please. Yes. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you a question. Uh, so when you choose the organ and zoom it, you not only zoom it, but you bring the coherence to that in that, that, that place. Is it correct? You zoom in, you zoom in, you zoom in to the, the most, so yes, the intention is coherence and then you zoom in and then you zoom in. Yeah. Thank you. So the more you zoom in, the easier it is going to be because when you, it's like if you're trying to move something that is very big, you have to um, push really hard. But when you zoom in, you're actually just working on a very tiny bit of matter. So when it's so small, then just by your intention alone, just that little bit of energy of intention, you can actually start to um, affect it. So yes, that's what the, yes, you zoom in and intention as well. Yes, very good. 
Thank you for catching that. Um, what was the other point that I wanted to, to talk about? Um, oh yeah, yes. It's, um, it's really about connecting to the quantum field. So connection. So you actually connecting to yourself. You, you're not connecting to something that is outside of you. You're connecting to your the energy, the quantum field that is within yourself. So it's that connection. So whether you actually can um, make any changes, whether you can actually affect the outcome, depends on your connection. The more you can connect with that, the easier it is. So that's why um, I, I, I always do the presence meditation before because when you are present, when you're present to yourself, it's already easier for you to be connected to yourself. It's already much easier for you to start to do any healing work for yourself. So um, when you first start to do healing, just make sure that you, you are not in a chaotic state. Even if you have been in a chaotic state, it's to just take a couple of minutes, calm yourself down, bring your body back into a relaxed mode, get back to your own presence. So do a presence meditation, call back all of your attention. And then when you um, zoom into a, an area of your body that you want to start to heal or shift, then that's how you can do that okay so that really is what I all that I want to say about um, quantum field healing so any questions so far or always good okay so no questions so I assume always good uh, actually I do uh, okay yes so every atom and cell has a DNA Yep. Yes. It's really hard to think that if, every cell has the DNA. Um, I think I used to have a, okay, I have to find it. I think I have a picture. Like you can actually Google yourself to what, what a cell looks like. Um, yeah, yeah. So every cell has DNA. Absolutely. Can I ask one more question? Sure. Um, when you said intention in coherence, coherence with what? Like coherence with the entire body? Um, coherence is really with life force energy. Oh, with life force energy. Got it. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Um, but if you just say coherent, it's it's already understood that it is. Coherent. Yeah, I, I I was needed it for myself because you know. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Great. And um, yes, every, every cell has DNA in it. That's, that's why, um, that's, that's, that's how, that's why uh, even if you, if you scrape your tongue or you scrape um, um, like within your nose, you, you can test that because every cell in your body has your DNA and has um, a lot of information in it. So you can test, that's why some people can collect, um, you know, just do a bit of scraping in your nose or in your, your DNA, in your mouth, they would be able to start to test um, like all different things, what's, what's going on in your body because it it's all, has all of that information. So each and every one of our cell has DNA in it. And 
let's um, go on to the next topic. The next next advanced topic is about um, I am healing. So I've actually done like um, a, a meditation before. It's, uh, it's called the I am healing. Um, I am area is really um, in the middle of the brain between the middle of the brain and your third eye area, which is just um, between, just like between your eyebrows, but slightly maybe about one or two cm inside your skull. That's your third eye area. So it's, so within, in between the third eye area and your, um, in the middle of your brain is an area that's called your I am area. And that is actually where your consciousness is. Um, the, our best, I would say, spiritually speaking, that's where we, we believe our consciousness really resides. So that's why that's the I am area. So the I am area is um, it's really using our consciousness, our accessing our higher consciousness to do the healing. So some of the, um, the so how do we access that? It's not just our regular consciousness but it's a higher consciousness so in order to access that we have to have brain coherence brain coherence just meaning that our brain or or just most of our brain is actually working together in in synchronicity with each other working with each other this brain coherence and our heart coherence as well so when we have brain coherence heart coherence and we also get to the point where we can access the 16 inches, which is a plane of energy above our head. And when we access that higher plane of energy, we actually, our consciousness is not in our body anymore. It's just a little bit out of our body. So at that, in that state of mind, we, can, we actually can do a lot more healing for ourselves, and it's easier to do that. And um, it's not just for physical healing. The, the I am area can actually heal not just physical things. It could be emotional trauma. It could be a... Um, a thought pattern. Let's say if I have low self-esteem, that's all of that. It's a, there's a thought pattern that we don't um, value ourselves very much. Like if you, if you just put that, like I want to put that, put that pattern, that pattern within your I am area and, and access that, that healing it will start to shift that thought pattern. So that's the difference between the quantum field healing and the healing in the I am areas that the quantum field healing is more geared towards healing physical symptoms. So if you feel a, like a, a shoulder pain, or if you feel your thyroid is out of whack, you don't know what's, what's wrong with it, and, and you want to, you can actually use the, the quantum field healing. But if it's, like, you can also use the IM area to heal physical, however, the IM area, because you're accessing a higher consciousness, higher level of consciousness. So it's not just about, um, physical illness it can be used for emotional illness or it could be used for for mental um confusion or a mental pattern as well like not feeling worthy enough 
that kind of things, okay? So it's kind of hard to demonstrate or, or, or what I'm trying to say is, it's actually much easier to just take everybody through how to do the, the, the I am um, area healing rather than to, to talk about it theoretically. So let's just do that. So I'm just going to do the, the I am area healing. So kind of know where the I am area is and it's, it's so in the middle of your brain, just around um, and around the uh, between the eyebrow area, but further in, that's the I am area. So kind of put your focus there. And then just start to, first of all, to calm yourself down. So use rhythmic breathing. So breathe in um, four count, let's say four count, four or five counts, doesn't matter. So breathe in. Breathe out. 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 Breathe in. Breathe in. Breathe out. 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 Breathe in.
breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Continue to follow the rhythm of your own breathing with the intention to elongate your own breathing as long as it is still comfortable for you. And we have taken about 20, just over 20, deep breathing in and breathing out. And around the 20th breath time, you will feel really a shift. And you know you feel that shift when you feel this calmness about you. When you get to that calmness, that stillness within you, then you know you can start the next step. And the next step is to activate brain coherence. So simply hold the intention that you want to activate brain coherence. To have more parts of your brain being able to work coherently together. Brain coherence activate. And keep repeating that intention to yourself. Until you feel your brain kind of energetically coming together. Each of you may feel a little differently. What I feel is actually It's like the brain pulsing together. Your brain coherence activate. And the next thing is heart coherence. 
So when you feel your brain coming together as though you only have one brain, not two halves, but just one brain working as brain coherence. Then call for heart coherence. Heart coherence activate. And keep repeating that intention quietly within yourself. Heart coherence activate. When you feel your heart coalescing as just one, and call for brain and heart coherence. Brain and heart coherence. Keep repeating that intention within yourself. Brain and heart coherence. And after a while, you will start to feel your brain and a heart coming together as one. I feel it as just there is one column of energy that connects my brain and my heart together. And when you have brain and heart coherence, and the next step is to set the intention to access a plane of energy that is 16 inches above the top of your head. Continue to repeat that to yourself. It's to access plane of energy that is 16 inches above the top of your head. plane of energy that is 16 inches above your head. It's also called fourth dimension. You know you access this plane 
Feel like you are just a little bit beyond your body. And that you don't quite remember who you are anymore. And when you feel you're in there, then whatever it is that you want. To transform. Simply put it in the I am area. And let go. And let's come back and just take a deep breath in. And place your focus back inside your body. Remember who you are in this moment. And then just come all the way back.
questions? In this IM area, I can put not only my wish, but I can put um, my willing to heal the organ. You can put anything. Mm. Okay. So, do you feel like you were able to um, get to 16 inches above? How do you know if you get it? I don't know if I get it. I just imagine that I give the command, but I don't know if I got it. So the the test that um, is is to um, ask yourself, what's your name? So if mm -hmm. you if you don't quite remember what your name is then yes, you're there. And the other way that I can sometimes tell is if I don't quite feel my limbs, if I don't quite feel my body. So I didn't feel my body, so I was there. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, because 16 inches is, is above the body, so you, if you, if you're there, then yeah, you didn't quite feel your body. I, I mean, if you. The, but I cannot maintain it. Too long. It is, that takes, I cannot stay too long here. Yeah, it's, uh, it takes practice. The, the more you go to the 16th end, um, inches above, the easier it gets because you condition your body and and also um that's why i do the the breathing like 20 breathing like deep like the five counts breathe in and breathe out because yeah. you're kind of more deeper into um the the meditation it's easier for your mind to because the the reason why you can't quite stay there is because you start to think start to think of stuff you start to connect back to your body so when you start to connect back with your body you drop down so it's so when you get yourself into a kind of deeper meditation then it's easier for you to stay above your body longer and also practice the more you practice this, the easier it gets. And the longer you'll be able to stay up there. And you will feel the shift more as well. Right. How do you know if, um, if your wish was accepted? You just have to trust, have to believe? or it's supposed to be some sign that uh, it was accepted. Or you have to wait until it's gonna come true. So every time you place an intention, you change the pattern a little bit. So, you would know because when you place it, like you start to see opportunities or things shifting to where it is that you wanted to, to go. You would, you would know. Let's say if you, let's say if I, if I said I want to, um, I don't know, have, have a piece of cake tomorrow, for example. If I actually get to have a piece of cake tomorrow, then I know, yes, it's a definite yes. But if I don't have a piece of cake, but somebody gave me, let's say, a fruit, then I know I'm not quite there yet, but 
at least I have something sweet. So I'm just on that. So then I would do it again. I would. Oh, yeah. so you, you put that intention and that wish uh, as many times until you get it? Because each time you place it in, you shift the pattern, the pattern which is what shows up in your life. So what's showing up in your life now, there is a pattern. So when you make a, put a wish in, you are shifting the pattern. So that at some point, the, um, what you put in will start to come together and you actually get what you want. Thank you. I like it. Because um, depending on the wish, sometimes you, the wish requires that you have to shift yourself as well. So depending on how much you want to shift or how much you're willing to shift, if you're willing to shift everything all at once, then you probably will be able to get your wish very quickly. But if you, eh, okay, I, I will take one step today and I will take another step tomorrow, then you may, the, like what you want may, be a, may come, but it's gonna take more time. So, so you are shifting your own pattern as well. And it also depends how, how many, how much action I'm, I'm ready to put in, right? T toward my goal. Um, not necessarily. A lot of the times things don't happen for us because, yeah, at one level we want it and another level we don't want it. <laughs> so, so, so let's say I want, I want cake, but I also want to have nice body. If I have too much cake, I'm going to get that. So, for example, I want to have 30 clients on, on, uh, at, at my work in a month. So, I want it. Mm -hmm. It's no conflict that I, like, from one side I want it, from another I don't want it. So really think of 30 clients. For example, really think of 30 clients. Yes, you want the, the financial reward part of it. Do you also want all the other things that comes with that? For example, some clients are not. Of course, active. I want financial financial uh, yep, stuff. I, I, I'm just trying to 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 say that what you want has something that has benefit. Yes, but it also may come with other things that you don't like. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah. But I have no other, other choice. I have to make my living. Yeah, but are you willing to put the commitment to it? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah, you say that, but uh, you don't know. When the time comes, you might not be ready to do that that's why it's not getting you that because you have a little doubt in there maybe it would be that way 
You have to be. I don't have doubts, and all, um, you know, as long as I have clients, I'm working with um, with love, with my love, and um, with a willing to help. Okay, put that in as well. Yeah. Not just thirty clients, but put in the love as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's what I was saying. That you have to go deeper. Yeah, it's not just one plot. Mm. Okay. So, any other questions about the uh, the I am healing? It's a good one. Yeah. Okay. Great. So, so those are the, so in terms of more advanced healing techniques, those two are pretty powerful already. Um, the, the quantum field healing and the I am area healing, those two can uh, pretty much cover any more major illness. I think um, most of you here don't have any major illness. You may have some chronic ones, which I highly recommend that you do it yourself. And I know um, we, yes, we like to have someone else do the healing for us. However, when you start to do your own healing, um, you don't just gain your health, you actually gain mastery over life as well. So that's, that's the, I would say the, the side benefits of being able to heal yourself. Because if you can heal yourself. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Yes. So uh, when quantum field, I understood. So I'm um, zoom in and put intention of coherence. So when I do, I'm a, I'm, I'm area uh, healing. For example, I feel kidney, right kidney. What should I put in my I am area? I should put whatever I feel now that pain put, and ask for healing you put your right kidney in your whole right kidney like i would if, if i were doing that i would put my whole right and how you put there. your own kidney i mean just imagine that you yeah. get it here and put it here It's just like when you, let's say your daughter, so you, you know what your daughter looks like. So you can just have an image of your daughter and you just put it in your I am area. But I don't know how my kidney looks. So you know what a kidney looks like, right? Yeah. So all you have to do is, okay, I want to put my kidney, even though you don't know what your kidney looks like exactly, but you know what a kidney looks like. So you just put, so you just have the intention that my kidney, so you have a picture of a kidney, but with your name on it. So my kidney, put it in. So you just have a picture of a kidney and you say, that's my kidney. And you put it in your eye area. And what should I do when I put it in I'm area? Just send love? Don't do anything. Nothing? Just put it there. Okay. No need to do anything because you're not at your, because when you're in the, when you're in a different consciousness, you, you're in um, 16 inches above. So it's, a different consciousness so as little as possible just put your right kidney if you want to work on your right kidney just put it there 
Thank you so much for explanation. Now I got it. Thank so you. It's, it's just the intention. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You're most welcome. Any other questions? Okay. Great. If not, I have one more question. Sure. Go ahead. Can you do both? Like you zoom in and this big one you put in an area. Is it gonna be, is it gonna increase healing? I haven't tried that. I don't know. But uh, if you want to try it, then go right ahead. However, I would I would suggest that you do one. Um, yeah, one one at a time at first, and when you get really good at it, then combine that all together. If you want to experiment on that, absolutely. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it could be very interesting. Let me know how it is because you okay. you can actually put the um, the you can actually just specify. Okay, so there's this this part of the of the right kidney and you zoom it all in and you actually just put the smallest part of the of the the atom in the IM area. Great. Wonderful. I have actually not even thought of combining the two, but I haven't tried it yet, but uh, sure. Why not? Give it a try. So can I ask one more question? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you just, you know, I just, um, so you, when you healing that um, kidney, you do not zoom in the entire kidney. You just zoom in very small part of it, right? or you do the entire kidney and you zoom it in? Um, okay, so I'm assuming that you talking about the quantum field healing. Quantum field, yeah. Yeah, so you, the whole area. Whole, so the entire kidney. Oh, Kenny, you zoom, you just zoom in, zoom in. Got it, got it. Thank you. Yeah. Sorry for so many questions. No, not at all. Thank you. Thank, for you. Your, thank you for your interest. Thank you for asking questions. Because Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you. I appreciate more that. you ask, the more, more answer you will get. Okay, wonderful. Great, then thank you very much. This is the end of the advanced techniques so far.